Good morning students. In this video we will see some problems on AP series and uh, its properties. See question number one. The largest term common to these two sequences. Here two sequences are given. What is this sequence? It is a sequence 1, 11, 21, 31 etc. It contains 100 terms. Here see the common difference is 10. Therefore it is an AP. Another sequence is given. It also contains 100 terms. With first term 31 and common difference 5. Common difference is 5. Therefore this is also an AP. So, firstly, I will take the first AP, first sequence. For the first sequence, first term is 1. And what is the common difference there? 10. So, this first AP, first sequence contains 100 terms. So, for this, I will find the last term, that is 100th term. How to find 100th term? A plus N minus 1 into D. So what is A? A is 1. 100 minus 1 is 99 into D is 10. Therefore, this is what? 991. 99 plus 10. 990 plus 1. So for the first series, this is the last term. That means last term of this is 991. One. First series, first sequence, this one. 991 is the last term. Similarly, I will take the second sequence. For second sequence, first term is 31 and common difference is 5. This sequence, this AP series also contains 100 terms. So finding last term, 100th term of this. Again, A plus N minus 1, 99 into 5. We will simplify this, 99 into 5, plus 31, 526. So, last term of the second sequence is 526. Yes. So this is first sequence, second sequence. First sequence, last term is 991. Its last term is 526. So this is what about first sequence, about second sequence. Now about common sequence. The terms common to these two series sequences. So you please observe the series. For first one common difference is 10. For second one common difference is this. What is the first term of the common series? So you see it is starting by 31. It is 1, 11 etc. So 31 is the first term of this. For the common series for the common terms, common terms they also form a series, AP series only. First term is 31. For them common differences. What is the common difference of common terms? It is LCM of common differences of these two. First series common difference of 10, second series common difference of 5. What is LCM of this? It is 10. So, okay. Now to find this. Largest term of the common uh, sequences. Common terms of these two sequences. We will suppose that largest term is Tn. Largest term. The term should be common to both the sequences. First, last term of the first sequence is 991, it is 526. Therefore, for common sequence, common term cannot exceed this. Therefore, this should be less than 526. So, Tn, for this Tn, if I write A plus N minus 1, N is not known, into D is 10, is less than 526. Let us simplify. 
what is this 10n minus 10 so i can write 10n less than what will be the constant here 31 minus 10 21 if you write 21 on other side this becomes 505 therefore n less than 10 you if you write here it divides no therefore this will be 50.5 something so what is n n is number so it should be n is always an integer n is always an integer less than 50.5 what will be the integer it is 50 so n is less than 50.5 means it is an integer therefore n equal to 50 so therefore the common term largest common term of the new series this the series formed by common terms is T50. For this 50th term, A plus N minus 1, that is 49, into D is 10 for this. Therefore, 31 plus 490. So, if you add these two, this will be 521. Therefore, the largest term, largest common term of the two given sequences is 521 yes next question almost the same these are important the number of terms common to the two series is here two series is are given this is first series which contains 50 terms and this is second series it contains 60 terms what is required now number of terms common to these two sequences okay once again i shall take first series this is the first series please see this two five eight common difference is three therefore they are in ap first sequence first series is an ap with the first term a equal to two and common difference equal to three it contains 50 terms so 50th term is last term of this sequence this series this ap how to write this a plus n minus 1 into d what is a a is 2 n minus 1 is 49 d is 3 so we will simplify this 49 into 3 9 3 is a 27 3 4 is a 12 what is this 14 plus 2 therefore the last term is 149 for the first series and we have also another series no for second series what is the second series 3 5 plus 7 so on up to 60 terms for this second one, what is the first term? A equal to 3. It is also an AP with common difference 2. Yes, it contains 60 terms. Therefore, for this, this series, last term is T60. Mm -hmm. How to write this since it is an AP? 3 plus. 3 means A plus N minus 1 into D. So this will be C. 59 into 2, 100, 118. 118 plus 3 is 121. So for first series, 149 is the last term. This is 121 is the last term for this. Now for the common series. For the common terms. What are the common terms? You please see. 2, 5, 8, etc. So, 5 is first term for this. So, for common series, it begins with 5. 5 is the first term. If the two series are in AP, then their common terms also, they form an AP with a common difference. Common difference will be LCM of first common difference, second. Its common difference is 3, its common difference is 2. What is LCM of 3, 2? It is 6. 
so now this common terms they also form a series that last term should not since it is it may it should be common to both for first sequence first series this is the last term for second this is the last term therefore for this common series its last term should not exceed 121 if it exceeds 121 it will not appear here okay this is the way so tn means again n n is 5 n minus 1 n my n is not known into d is 6 divided by 121 let us simplify 6 into n 6 n what is this plus 5 minus 6 minus 1 if you write on the right side 122 Therefore, n less than 122 by 2. 121 uh, 2 by 2 means it is approximately 20.3 etc. And what is this? n is number, number of terms. Number that uh, calculation count of the numbers cannot be uh, either rational number or uh, irrational number. It must be natural number. That is integer, positive integer of course. So, n is less than 20.3, the integer trend less than this immediate is 20. Therefore, the 20th, 20th term is the largest term, that is number of terms in this is 20. Therefore, fourth option. First series contains 50 terms, second contains 6 the common series contains how many terms? 20 terms. He asked that only. The number of terms common to these two. Answer is 20. Yes. Next question. Please see. Let Tn be the nth term of an AP. Here an AP series is given. Given that its nth term is denoted by Tn. Nth term is Tn. Tn is nth term. If uh, this summation is given, this summation, what summation? This one. Sigma m equal to 1 to 5 power 99. T2m is given 5 power 100. And one more summation is given, this one. Sigma m equal to 1 to 5 power 99 t 2m minus 1 this value this sum is given 5 power 99 then what is the common difference of the ap here you see what is there here t 2m minus 1 and here t 2m so what is t t represents terms t1 means first term t2 means second term etc so this is 2 t2m minus 1 and this is t2m. So its next term will be that now. What is this? It is 2m minus 1th term. Its next term will be 2mth term. Okay. Therefore I will begin with that. See carefully. What is that? Sigma m is equal to 1 to 5 power 99 what is there t2m its sum is given 5 power 100 yes so now i will write this as sigma this is 2m minus uh, this is 2m no if i write this as this i should add d why this is so because for the term T2M minus 1, its next term is T2M. How do you get the next term in an AP? By adding common difference. I have done that only. So here what is there? M is equal to 1 to 5 power 99. This value is 5 power 100. Now I will write the summation separately. Sigma m is equal to 1 to 5 power 99 t2m minus 1 plus for this also m is equal to 1 to 5 power 99 d 
This sum is 5 power 100. Very simple. What is its value? Its value is given. Sigma m equal to 1 to 5 power 99 t 2m minus 1. Its value is what? 5 power 99. This is given. Plus, what about this? Here, sigma effect is on m. There is no m here. Now, d can be written outside. Only 1 will be there. So, writing 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus how many times? 5 power 99 times. We will get 5 power 99 only. If sigma 1 plus sigma 1, if you write 1 plus 1 2 times, you will get 2. If you write 3 times 3. In the similar way, how many times we are writing? 5 power 99. Yes. So, on the right side, I have 5 power 100. Therefore, this implies D is equal to 5 power 100. This 5 power 99 becomes a minus and this 5 power 99 divides. So, in the numerator, I can take 5 power 99 common. In the numerator, this can be taken common. If I take common, I will have one more 5 here and here 1. In the denominator, 5 power 99. These two gets cancelled. 5 minus 1 is what? 4. Therefore, the common difference is what? 4. Therefore, second option. Next to question, question number 4. See Nana. Read the question thoroughly, properly. Understand the question first. Let Sn equal to this. Sn means what? Sum of n terms. This is sum of n terms. Sn equal to an square plus bn. B the sum of n terms of a series of real numbers. In the property of AP we have seen Sum of n terms on AP of an AP is always a quadratic expression of this type. Therefore, what is the series here? It is an AP. Okay. With the Tn as its nth term, Sn is sum of n terms and Tn is its nth term. If the ratio of these two terms, T, 4n, by Tn. This ratio is independent of n. Then what is the value of this? Okay. So we should find S8 by S9 value. To find that this ratio is given independent. This is what is this? Ratio of nth term and 4 nth term. So, first of all, we should know the nth term. So, Sn is given, no? Therefore, I can write. What I can write? Stn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. This, in this way, you can find the general term, nth term. Nth term only called the general term. What is Sn? It is An square plus Bn minus yes n minus 1 if i write n minus 1 here a into n minus 1 whole square plus into minus minus let us simplify this this is a n square plus b n if i multiply and i will see if i simplify this i will be getting a n square minus a plus 2 a n then we have minus bn plus b. So I can cut minus bn plus bn minus an square plus an square. So what we have now? We have a 2an and we have plus b minus a. This is nth term of the given series. So here what is given again? Here given that T4n, that is 4nth term, Tn, nth term, ratio of this ratio, ratio of these two terms is independent of n, he said. This ratio is independent of n, we will write this. 
so we obtained general term of the sequence series so t4n this is what tn t4n means in place of n you write 4n this will be 8an plus b minus a divided by what is tn tn is this only plus b minus a so in this ratio there is n so he said this is independent of n when this will be independent of n if n in the numerator denominator gets cancelled that means if there is no n in this ratio then it is said to be independent of n so when this will be independent of n this will be independent of n if b minus c a both are zeros if they are zeros then n n gets cancelled then it will be independent of this independent of n therefore here b minus a should be zero that means a is equal to b if a is equal to b these two will be vanished you will have this n n gets cancelled of course a also gets cancelled but he said it is independent of n definitely then it will be independent of n so this ratio is independent of n when a equal to b we have to find this now now i shall take this sn what is sn it is a n square plus b n with the given information a b both are equal i can write a n here i can also take a n common this is what this one so now i will write i will find this s8 by s9 s8 in place of 8 you write n you write 8 if you write 8 here a into 8 into 9 and yes 9 what is yes 9 a into 9 into 10 so these two will be cut a and a 9 and 9 therefore what will be there 8 by 10 which is nothing but 2 4 by 5 8 by 10 is what 4 by 5 therefore the answer is 4 by 5 third option yes next to question n ams are inserted between these two numbers which numbers n and 3n plus 2 these are the two given numbers between these two numbers n ams are inserted that is a1 a2 dash dash an between the two given numbers since they are ams these will be in ap series then what is the 10th am what is 10th am 10th am means we have to find a10 we have seen the properties of this how to get a10 very simple a10 will be a plus 10d that's all so just you find d for d also we have a formula b minus a divided by n plus 1 where a is first term and b is this no therefore it is 3n plus 2 minus n divided by n plus 1 what is numerator 2n plus 2 you can take two common we will have 2 into n plus 1 in the numerator n plus 1 in the denominator therefore what is this 2 that's all so 10th am a10 is a what is a first term that is n plus 10 into d d has come to no therefore 2 what is this n plus 20 therefore second option next question if n ams if n ams are inserted into inserted between the two numbers 20 and 80 see now so between 20 and 80 n arithmetic means are inserted like this now this will be an ap we know this is an ap 
Young AMs are inserted between these two such that the ratio of the ratio of first mean to the last mean is 1 is 2 3 what is given ratio of first mean what is first mean a1 last mean is an this ratio is given 1 is 2 3 then what is the value of n what is the value of n n is to be find so we need common difference here for this what is common difference b minus a divided by n plus 1 what is b b is last term a is first term therefore 80 minus 20 that means 60 divided by n plus 1 so this equation is given ratio of first mean to the last mean in the ratio 1 is to 3 what is this this is a plus d a plus d what is a a is 20 in this problem divided by a n nth mean is a plus n d this is given 1 is 2 3 simply let us simplify cross multiplication 60 plus 3 d is equal to 20 plus n d so if i write this on left side it becomes 40 i will write this on right side and I will take D common n minus 3 into D so this is n minus 3 into D what is D D is 60 divided by n plus 1 in this question so I can cut 40 and 60 2 times 3 times therefore what is this 2 is equal to n minus 3 into 3 divided by n plus 1. We have to find n now, obtain an equation in n. Let us find out n cross multiplication. 2n plus 2 is equal to 3n minus 9. Write 2n on the right side, it becomes a minus. 3n minus 2n is n. Write 9 on left side. It becomes plus. Therefore, n value is what? n is equal to 11. Yes, second option. Next question. See now. Find the sum of all three digit natural numbers. Find the sum of all three digit natural numbers which are divisible by 7. So what are the natural number, the three digited natural numbers, three digited numbers are natural numbers begin with 100 and the last one, last three digit natural number is 999. So there are, among these we need the numbers which are divisible by 7. You please see if I divide this 100 by 7. 7 1s are 7 30 7 uh, how many times 7 4s are 28 so 2 will be remaining see now this one so what is 14 into 7 14 into 7 is 98 this is not a three digit number so the number divisible by 7, next number will be 105. Therefore, 105 is the first three digit number divisible by this. Similarly, if you divide 999 with 7 by 7, 7 1s are 7, 7 4s are 28. Yes, 7 2s are 14 reminder will be 5 reminder will be 5 if you subtract 5 from this the number will be 994 next number will be it will be exceeding the 999 so the three digit natural numbers that are divisible by 
seven or one not five is the first number, and nine ninety four is the second number. C one not five is first number. We are taking all the numbers divisible by seven. Therefore, next number will be one one two etc. All those are divisible by this number. Okay. So now to find the sum of all these numbers. So how many numbers will be there? That should be known. I will suppose this. This AP series clearly it is an AP because all the numbers are divisible by seven means their common difference is seven, so they form an AP series. I will suppose they contain n terms, so then this will be nth term, no? So nine ninety four is nth term. For nth term of an AP, this is the formula. So what is a? A is one not five. N minus one into what is d? D is seven. Therefore, this is one not five plus seven n minus seven. Therefore, on the right side, seven n is there. What is this? One not five minus seven ninety eight. So nine ninety four minus ninety eight. Let us simplify this. This will be eight ninety six, I think. Therefore, n is equal to eight ninety six by seven. Seven one the seven, seven two the fourteen, seven eight the fifty six. So this series will contain how many terms? One twenty eight terms. What is asked is the sum of all three-digit natural numbers. That means sum of this AP is asked. Therefore, yes, one twenty-eight. It contains one twenty-eight terms. Sum of the series n by two into when you know first term and the last term, you can apply this. N by two. What is n by two? One twenty eight by two. It is what one twenty eight by two means sixty four into a plus l. A is one not five, and l is nine ninety four. You simplify this. Answer will be seven zero three three six. This is the sum of All three-digit natural numbers that are divisible by seven. Yes. Next question. Please read the question. In an AP of ninety-nine terms, this AP contains ninety-nine terms. The sum of all the odd numbers, or the sum of all the odd number terms, is this. What is this? Sum of all odd numbered terms. Then find the sum of all the ninety-nine terms of the AP. See here, this AP contains ninety-nine terms. So the given AP, if I take, it contains ninety-nine terms. Say A one, A two, A three, and so on. How many terms? A ninety-nine. This is the AP. In this. AP series it contains 99 terms no how many odd terms will be there and how many even terms will be there so first term is odd term third is odd term total number of terms is 97 99 so if you distribute equally it you may get 50 and 49 how many odd terms will be there odd terms number of odd terms is 50 and the number of even terms is 49 it is very clear so what is said sum of all the odd numbered terms is this that is sum of all odd numbered terms how many terms are there i will take odd numbers no problem if i take only odd numbered terms i will get a1 a3 a5 etc and the last term will be a99 this is also odd term 
so how many those will be those are 50 odd numbered terms sum of these odd numbered terms is given therefore what is the formula n by 2 n by 2 means 50 by 2 into so first term plus last term i am taking this a1 plus a99 this sum is given 2550 this implies a1 plus a99 you simplify this this will be what 2550 this is what 25 it divides if you divide 25 on the 25 only 5 will be there 25 to the 50 so this is 102 so by the given information we obtained that sum of first term and last term is this what he asked in the question find the sum of entire series sum of 99 terms he asked neither even nor odd he said all sum of all the 99 terms so n by 2 that is 99 by 2 into again first term last term of the series are known therefore this so what is this 99 by 2 into 102 this value has come 102 i have written here therefore this is 99 into 51 so let us simplify 5199 yes what is this this is 5049 therefore second a third option yes we will see another question if the ratio of sum to n terms of two aps here two aps are given there are two aps the ratio of sum of n terms of two aps is given this is the ratio of sum of n terms of two different aps then what is the ratio of their 17th terms okay so here two aps are given no so i will take the first ap for first ap i will suppose first term is a and common difference is d for second ap i will suppose first term is capital a and the common difference is d so the ratio of sum of n terms of these two aps is given sum of n terms of first ap that is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d this is the sum of n terms of first ap by sum of n terms of second ap n by 2 into this will be 2 into capital a plus n minus 1 into capital d this ratio is given 5n plus 3 divided by 3n plus 4 this is the ratio this is the given thing what is to be find the ratio of their 17th terms ratio of 17th terms of the two given aps what will be the 17th term of first one 17th term that means general term how to write general term a plus n minus 1 into d that will be 16d 17th term of first ap similarly 17th term of the second ap capital a plus 16 into d now we have to find this value 17th term of first ap 17th term of this okay this is the given information i can cut n by 2 n by 2 i will compare with that 
there is only a and capital a here two is there no i divide numerator and denominator by 2 therefore a plus n minus 1 by 2 into d dividing only left side and this will be a plus n minus 1 by 2 into d this is of course given equal to 5n plus 3 divided by 3n plus 4 yes now to find this value it is similar to this here what is there 16 that means here we should get 16 here and here both are of course same when we will get 16 here if you take this n minus 1 divided by 2 this should be 16 when it is give n when it gives 16 it gives 16 for n equal to 33 n minus 1 by 2 equal to 16 n minus 1 equal to 32 33 so what i do now i will put n equal to 33 in this equation if i put n equal to 33 then this will be a plus what will be this automatically 16d divided by capital a plus this is also 16d i have put n equal to 33 here also i should put n equal to 33 so if i put 33 33 into 5 165 plus 3 is 168 if i put 33 here 99 99 plus 4 is 103 so what is this the value of a plus 16d by capital a plus 16 capital d which is the required thing therefore this is 168 by 103 this is the ratio of 17th terms ratio of 17th terms of ap to ap is of course 168 by 103 that means second option yes next question please here an ap series is given a1 a2 a3 dash dash a4001 what is this this is an ap series yes this series is such that a2 plus a4000 sum of these two terms is given 50 also this sum is given 10 then asked this value what is the value of this this value is to be find okay let us see i shall take this see carefully what is there in the first term 1 divided by a1 a2 a1 a2 they are two successive terms of ap i will try to write like this 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 or these two equal we will check it out if i take lcm this will be a2 minus a1 by a1 a2 they are not equal see na na a2 minus a1 is what common difference that is d divided by a1 minus a2 so these are not equal d is coming extra therefore what i do i will take this firstly i will divide this common difference d i have divided with common difference d then i will multiply all the terms by d here d means what a2 minus a1 dividing what is d now d can be a2 minus a1 what is there here a1 a2 if you divide separately dividing first one a2 will be cancelled you will have this minus you will have a2 so now it can be written as 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 so proceeding in the similar way this can be written as 1 by a2 Minus one by a three. Next one will be one by a three minus one by a four, etc. 
and here it will be 1 by a 4000 minus 1 divided by a 4001 carefully this sum is given 10 I should put bracket here see now no. only first term and last term will be single other will be appear twice with opposite sign therefore all those will be cancelled only first term and last term will be there they will be there so here 1 by d into I have first term last term I am taking LCM I get A4001 minus A1 what is LCM A1 into A4001 yes equal to 10 let us simplify further 1 by D into what is this A4001 this is this term last term of the series so it can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d a is what a1 plus n minus 1 n minus 1 is 4000 into d minus a1 is there so divided by a1 and a4001 so what is this this is 10 so i can cut here minus a1 plus a1 also d and d so by cross multiplication i obtain this value a1 into a4001 i wrote this on this if you write 10 here this will be 400 so by this given information i obtained this value one more information is given no what that information says so here given that a2 plus a4000 is given 50 what is a2 second term from the beginning what is a4000 second term from the ending sum of these two is equal to first term and last term we have seen in the properties so i can write like this what is to be find we have to find this value a1 minus a4001 i shall take its whole square it is of which type a minus b whole square we know a plus b and a b this can be expressed as a minus b whole square is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square minus 4ab that is a1 into a4001 so what is this value this value is 50 50 square is 2500 minus 4 into a1 and a4001 its product is 400 therefore what is this nana 25,000 minus 16,000 2,500 not 25,000 this will be what 900 so a1 minus this whole square is this therefore if I take square root mod of a1 minus a4001 this will be what square root of this is 30 therefore what is the answer answer is 30 therefore second option yes yes next question see nana the nth term of an ap nth term is given p nth term is equal to p and the sum of first n terms is given yes this is sum of first n terms then find the first term of the ap so what is p p is he said nth term okay i will suppose first term is a and common difference is d then this will be what a plus n minus 1 into d this is p 
And what is S? S is sum of first n terms. What is sum of first n terms? n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Yes. So sum of n terms is given. Yes, I wrote that. Nth term is given p. I wrote this. So by cross multiplication, here I will get 2s equal to n into. What is there? 2a no? I can write it as a plus a n minus 1 into d. I need to find first term. That means a should be find. So in this place, see, a plus n minus 1 into d. In this place, I can write p no? Therefore, what is this? n into a plus. This is what p. I have to separate this no. I have to separate a value. So write n here. This is 2s by n. Then write p here minus p. This will be the first term. Therefore, what is a? If I take LCM, 2s minus np divided by n. This is the first term. Which option? 2s minus np by n. That means this uh, first option. Yes. Another question. Here an AP series is given. A1, A2, A3 dash dash. What is this? This is an AP series. This series is such that A3 plus A5 plus A8 is 11 and A4 plus A2 is minus 2. Then what is this value? So I will suppose this is an AP series, no? Already first term is A1, no problem. I will suppose uh, that will be easy. I will suppose A is first term and D is common difference. Okay, let us take this. What is given? A3 plus A5 plus A8 is given 11. What is A3? A plus 2D. What is A5? A plus 4D. What is A8? A plus 7D. This is given 11. So there are 3 A's, no? So 3 A. And adding D terms, 7D, 4D, 11, 11 plus 2. What is this? 13D is equal to 11. So one more information is given, no? A4 plus A2 is minus 2. Yes. What is A4? A plus 3D. Fourth term. This is what? A plus D. This is minus 2. A plus A. What is this? 2A plus 4D is equal to minus 2. I can take 2 common. A plus 2D equal to minus 1. So, there are two equations in terms of A and D. So, solving these two equations, you can find both the values. Let us solve these equations. So, solving these equations, this equation is 3A plus 13D equal to 11. I will multiply this with 3. 3A plus 6D is equal to minus 3. If I subtract them minus minus plus, these will be cancelled. 13 minus 6, what is it? 7D is equal to 14 implies D is equal to 2. Put a D value in this or this. This is simple now. If I put a D value here, A is equal to, what is D? 2, 2 into 2, 4. If you write on right side, minus no. Yes, this is A value. Once A and D are obtained, anything you can find. What is to be found? A1 plus A6 plus A7. This is equal to A1 means first term A only. A6 means A plus 5D. A7 means A plus 6D. So there are three A's, no? 3A. What about this? It is 11D. Put the values of A and D. A is minus 5. It is minus 15. 
D is 2, that is 22. Minus 15, 22. What is this? 7. Therefore, third option. Yes. Yeah.